Boom. You know what time it is, man. After that little run around we got on Sunday, the little practice game and that, onto a, things a little bit more strenuous. You know them way there? A little bit more difficult in this game. <laughs> now, real talk, man. Liverpool, Brighton, preview. Boom. Welcome back, Saint LFC TV, with your boy Saint Wagwan. Hope you're good. Hope spirits are good, like myself. I'm feeling good. You know them way there. I've just been cheesing the whole week, bro. The whole week, man. Just been giving pearly whites, bro. Um, now listen, housekeeping and that. Um, if it's your first time, it's the first time you're seeing my face, where you been, bro? Nah, seriously, man. First time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. We're steadily climbing, trying to hit 500 subs, man. And we're nearly there. So please, man, please, 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 please give your boy some love. Hit the subscribe button in it. Also hit that bell notification in it so you know when man's dropping content. Also, if you're up in here and you're liking the vid and that, come on, free admission, slap the like button and um, get in the comments, man. Let me know what I want to know what your starting lineups would be, um, predicted scores, all of that, all of that, all of that. Oh, what? Getting into the preview, obviously, it's Brighton coming up to Liverpool um, for a little three, three o'clock game on Saturday. And um, I'm excited, bro. Like, I'm, I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm confident. Why wouldn't I be? You know them way there? Like, why wouldn't I be? We've slapped these men. We're on good form. Slap United. Um, not, not, not dropped any, um, what's it called, we ain't lost yet, sorry rather, um, and we're nice, we're sitting comfortable, I, th I still think we've got a couple levels to go in terms of how we're playing football, um, you know, we're not actually at our optimum, do you know what I'm saying, at our optimum level, um, so, so to be sitting second in the league, to be sitting first in the Champions League, to have just got through to the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup, and I'm still saying we've got levels, it's good times, isn't it, good, good times. But we've got Brighton this weekend, didn't it? And they're no joke, man. Brighton, I think they're clinging on to fifth at the moment. They were obviously in fourth earlier on and they've been playing some really good ball. The only thing with Brighton is they ain't getting the results that their performances, do you know what I mean, like should be should be giving them. They're, they're, they're playing far better uh, football than, than what they're actually churning over in terms of results. Um, at the moment, it's looking a bit peak for them because... Obviously, we slapped up them man 5-0 on the weekend. And I think at the same time, they were getting tucked in by City 4-1. Um, so, I think they're, they're five defeats in all competitions at the moment. Back-to-back -back defeats. So, it's not great. You know, them ones there. But, they're coming to us. Do you know what I'm saying? And their away form is good. Um, I think they're undefeated away. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's one of them ones. Graham Potter does play good football. He's got a good brand of football. Um, the, 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 especially in terms of kind of not sitting back as such he will come and he will try and attack he will try and play put his brand of football onto onto the game and um it's just up for us to make sure that we don't give him nothing do you know what i'm saying so we, we just, just gotta make sure that we just keep on moving in the vein that we're moving um we got some players that are coming into absolute peak form man like Mohamed salah is in the form of his life brother doing up bits um sadio mane as well, we said, or I said particularly last season, that I felt like he needed a rest. I just felt like he just needed to just chill a little bit. Um, and we've been able to give him that did start in the Man United game, got rested for Preston. So I'd like to see a revitalised Mane. Um, but yeah, actually, that brings us very nicely into my predicted lineup. So, um, Starting five is is as norms, you know them way there. Allison, even though I got a shout out, um, Adrian, I call you all the time, but you had a really good game against Preston still, so so I'm saying. But second on the bench, it's Allison's turn now. You get me, uh, Allison, Trent, Robertson for the full backs, and then I'm gonna say Virgil and Kanati for the centre backs, man. That's who I'd like. I think Kanati has been doing well, um, and we'd just like him to get a little bit more more steam. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, obviously, Fabino. It's not gonna it's gonna be a doubt for this one so i'd say henderson um jones and ox for me obviously milner's a doubt um tiago's a doubt it's looking a bit techie kr i would have said kr because kate has been doing really really good like he's, he's, he's been doing really good stuff in it um coming into form he bossed that man united game absolutely smashed it but 
the opponents of Man United and they're dead food. So, do you understand? Like, I, I get it. But um, with the little bruising in that, I just want to make sure that he's all right and there's no rush. There's no need to rush him back. I'd like to see, give Ox a little run around and Ox has really got to prove something for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Let me see what you can, what you can do in it. Um, and this would be a good midfield. This would be a good team for you to really, I want to see, the thing I like about Ox is the way in which he brings the ball forward. Like, he's not scared to take on man. Do you know what I mean? The progressive play when he's on the ball is good. So I want to see that. Cool. Then that brings us to the front three and it's tried and tested. You know them way there. Man like Mo Salah, man like Robert Firmino and um, and Sadio Mane. Like I said, Mane's had the rest in which I think he needs. And Bobby was absolute sauce in that Man United game. No goals, no assists, but he showed man how to play that number nine role. Trust me, like an absolute G was everywhere, spreading the ball like butter. Um, so that's my team. All right, obviously we got to watch out for them man there. I think Welbeck is on an injury, is injured, so... That's cause a little bit less firepower for them, man. It's just the usual man, isn't it? Mope is, thinks they're top scorer, so we've got to keep him under wraps. Uh, Trossard, um, obviously, we know. Man like Lalana, I think he's going to play. So we just got to keep that man under wraps, you know what I mean? And obviously, in the back, they got Lewis Dunk and the same, you know what I mean? The same, the same, the same thing. But um, in terms of a score line, I'm going to go 3 0. We've been corning, man. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I think Preston was probably the first time. In a little while that we ain't won 3-0. I think we're going back to it, bruv. 3-0, we're going to call them, man. Yo, listen, it's about that time. You know I've got a special guest always for the preview. And listen, if I was doing if I was doing as much moves as this young gun at his age, I'd have made it. Like, listen, man like Alid from Clock uh, Talk TV. What are you telling me, rude boy? Tell me what's going right on, then, young everyone, Big up to you all. Welcome back to St. LFC TV. It is Clock Talk TV here, Brighton Preview. And guys, make sure if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button to St. LFC TV. Absolutely flying on the platform. So make sure if you haven't done so, make sure you support my guy doing an absolute brilliant job. But guys, today... It is Brighton, and I'm here to preview that uh, and offer my little insights going ahead, ahead into this game. But I think, look, I'm confident, mate. I'm I'm loving it. I'm absolutely buzzing since Manchester United coming away with a 5-0 win. You know, I'm so happy. Uh, and I think a lot of Liverpool fans are still living on that wave at the moment and are still living in that honeymoon period after that that win, you know. You know, we we have to rub it in. We have to rub it in when we can, you know. They they, they rubbed it in when, you know, Gerrard slipped and, Ch and Man City won the title. So why can't we rub it in for a few days more? So, guys, big up to everybody on the channel. And you know what, Brighton, I have to give credit where credit is due because the team that we're facing is not a team that is an easy pushover. Look, they haven't won their last four games. They did lose to Manchester City. And I think there is levels to this. And I think if I'm going to predict this Liverpool game, I think that level's level and that golfing quality will show again. However, you've got to give credit where credit is due to Brighton. They've started particularly well in the season. They were second or third at one point in the league over, over the first three games. And they've really tuned down some good results and some good performances. And, you know, they play an attacking mode of football. And, you know, we have to compound that with giving credit to, uh, you know, the manager, Graham Potter, for, you know, implementing that attacking mode of football. And you just, it's just an entertaining watch when you watch Brighton. You know, they always put men on the ball. And, you know, they always fight to the end, you know. And, and good teams get late goals. And I think... I've seen Brighton get a few late goals in the past this season. I think Crystal Palace was a standout one with Neil Moore Pie. Um, so I think going forward, they need to, you know, keep that vein of form. But I think they, they need, they do a good result at some point. And I don't think they're going to get it here. Liverpool, obviously, on the back of four consecutive away wins, you know, coming off the back of in the Premier League, um, you know, that Manchester United win. Um, you know, they're unbeaten in 23 matches. It's just stat after stat, which edges towards Liverpool uh, as, you know, clear favourites for this one. And, you know, if I'm predict to predict this what game as well, it's going to it's gonna be an easy... It's not going to be an easy game. I thought... I'd ne no game in the Premier League is an easy game. But when I say an easy game, is I mean that it's, it's an easy game to predict because I don't feel that there will be any, um, you know, spanner in the works. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, if I'm going to predict it, I'm going to predict Mane to have a good performance. Van Dijk to get on the score sheet after two headers in the last time he faced Brighton at Anfield. Um, but I think it'll be a good performance in the sense that Mane will get um, a few goals. Like he got rested against Manchester United. Come on as a little bit of a cameo performance. 
rested for Preston as well. So I expect him to return. I expect Van Dijk to have a good performance. I expect the line, the defensive line to be solid as well. Although we've been leaky in the past, you know, we have been holding on to leads particularly well. I don't feel that will be a problem if we score the first goal. And look, I think... I think I think I think we'll be I think we'll be solid. I I think the midfield is something that is a position in the pitch which is a little bit uncertain. What do we go for in that midfield? But I think we have enough materials and players at our disposal to get the job done. I think, um, especially taking optimism that Thiago's back in training, Kate is back in training. No sign of Fabinho, however, that is a little bit of a worry. But when you think of the last four games, we dealt with it. We didn't know Fabinho particularly well. You know what I mean? Getting a win at Atletico Madrid, getting a win at Manchester United, and getting a win at Watford as well. So that shouldn't be a problem. But. I think the midfield has to be ironed out. I don't think we can put on a consistent run of games with no Fabinho. I think we need him back before long. So I'd expect it to be no problem. The Anfield crowd, you know, to be hot as always. Uh, three o'clock kickoff. Uh, you know, I'm happy that, you know, it's a game of football. We can see our team hopefully get the three points on the board and edge closer to obviously, um, you know, going top of the table, making a 20 time champion. So. Guys, big up to you all. Thank you, Safe, for allowing me to put my clip on here. And uh, guys, remember, like I said, the channel target for Clock Talk TV is 2K. So make sure the link should be in the description. So make sure you go over and hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, make sure you check out Saint's channel. Go over, give him some support. And I'm uh, out. Just like my young G told you, subscribe, like, share, all of that. See you for the review. Boom.